And just in case you aren't aware of the chilling scene that happened in Copenhagen earlier today on day two of the Euros in the match between Denmark and Finland, Finland's debut match in this tournament, late in the first half, Danish star Christian Eriksen, not the result of contact, but collapsed on the pitch. CPR was administered for 10 minutes. Thankfully, we can report he is in the hospital and in stable condition. The match was suspended for an extended period of time. We're not going to show you Erickson falling, but this was the photograph that gave heart around the world because the worst was feared, candidly, at the time. But Erickson, eyes open as he left the pitch and was on his way to the hospital and then subsequently was able to communicate with his teammates from the hospital. And then this statement was issued by the Danish Football Federation. Christian Erickson awake. His condition remains stable. He remains hospitalized. Further examinations coming, and the match would eventually resume at 2030. European time, which was about 2.30 here in the United States East Coast time, that they resumed the match. And you see the players coming out. The emotion was evident, and it was a, a good question as to whether this should happen. Then the 58th minute, Finland strikes, Tim. Yeah, and Poyan Paolo with a really good header here. Great cross in from Yaronin, and obviously a fumble there from Schmeichel in the goal, but respectful celebration to not. And then getting deeper in the match, an opportunity here for, for Denmark. Steve. Yeah, Anthony Taylor, the English referee, gives a penalty. I actually don't think it was a penalty, but once it was given, it was not going to be overturned. And a real half-hearted penalty by mm. Hoiberg. And, you know, there's no criticism to be given, unfortunately, because of the circumstances surrounding this event. Well, that was the big thing. It's Finland wins its initial match in the Euros. It's their first appearance. And ordinarily, that would be a cause... Uh, for great celebration, and certainly it is to their credit that they won mm. the game because it was traumatic for both sides, particularly mm. for the Danish side. But after you saw how it unfolded, when the teams returned to the pitch to play, what's your reaction to the decision to, to move yeah, forward? My reaction, Reese, is that the game um, personally should not have been played. It should have been cancelled until at least tomorrow. I don't think... We know that Christian Eriksen spoke to the Danish team, and that is amazing, fantastic. But Christian Eriksen doesn't decide whether the game should go ahead mm -hmm. an hour and a half after he's been carried off. Mm -hmm. This was the reaction of the players warming up to start the game. We had our own Christian Fuchs, who knows Kasper Schmeichel better than any single one of us because he's been his teammate for four years. Mm -hmm. He sat 15 yards away from us and said... I can see in Kasper Schmeichel's eyes, he's not ready. He's not mentally mm -hmm. ready. And then he goes on to make a huge edit, one that he hasn't done yeah. like that all season, yeah. a fantastic year. So there has to be question marks about UEFA and their ability to let this game go ahead, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Well, sadly, it, it had a massive effect. You just mentioned there, Kasper Schmeichel, he doesn't make mistakes like that. He visibly was obviously very emotional. And then... Hoiberg steps up, really mm. bad penalty. Yeah. Eriksson had taken the three penalties in the, in the European qualifying. So the, absolutely what happened to Christian Eriksson affected this result there mm. for Denmark. Uh, we'll continue to give you updates on Christian Eriksson's condition. As we know, thankfully, uh, many prayers have been answered. We feared the worst at the time, but uh, alert and stable in the hospital. And just there have also been some reports in case people are wondering about this. At no point had any medical issues showed up. He had not uh, been diagnosed with COVID-19 at any point during his club season, according uh, to reports that we have read. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously he will undergo more tests. But the most important thing at the moment is that Christian Eriksen is in stable condition. And we are certainly thankful for that. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.